Greetings, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back with more Armored Core in the bonus episode. Now, the only reason that we're doing a bonus episode is, as I probably mentioned at the end of the playthrough, there are still missions yet that I have not actually done. As you can see here, there's a list of them, in, of all the different missions in the game that you are capable of doing, among which are a lot of, well, mostly ones that we've already done. But there are a couple that are marked here, like Rescue Server Team, Worker Robot Removal, Secret Factory Recon, and such and so forth as we go down that don't have an X mark next to them. Those are levels that I didn't do, and for the sake of this um, bonus, we are going to do that. Let me check the garage first. What was in my last setup? Yeah, I did change things around a little bit, didn't I? I have a lighter weight AC, and I've only stripped it down to just the Kurosawa and the Moonlight. I might need to change that up, but this is where I am at the moment. So let's start from the top. What was the first one that we didn't do? Rescue Survey Team. From the Earth Environment Reclamation Committee. We want you to break into an old military facility remaining above ground to the southeast of Isaac City. This facility has been completely abandoned, but we have reason to believe it has been used as a testing ground for prototype weapons prior to the Great Destruction. If any of the companies get wind of this, a fight for this facility is inevitable. We immediately sent a survey team to find out the truth, but they ran into trouble. The gate within the facility suddenly closed and scrap security MTs began operating. After barely making it back to the first floor, the team is stranded behind the locked gate. The security MTs have been repulsed for now, but we don't know how long this will last. We will... Excuse me. We want you to rescue the team ASAP. The end of operations, the old military facility, enemy forces, security MTs, conditions for success, rescue the survey team. Okay. Oh, it's those MTs. Ugh, son of a... You know what? I think this is best traded as a race to the end. So I think with my current setup, I can just about do that. I just gotta remember not to waste much ammo on the MTs Main system, because engaging combat these mode. MTs are strong against energy munitions. Yeah, three shots from a Kurosawa. That may seem pretty good, but remember, this is a Kurosawa. Anything that doesn't take... Oh my god. When, when the, especially when there's this many. Anything that doesn't take, like, two shots from a Kurosawa before blowing up at the very least, that's a tough enemy. So we are going to try and just avoid taking as many hits as possible. Just go down the path of most resistance, just get away... Or maybe not. I think I just cornered myself. I'm dumb. But with a lighter weight AC that can fly and flip back and forth, hopefully this will not be as much of a problem. Just gotta dodge a lot as much as possible. Just keep flipping around. Hopefully make it there. Take too much damage. Get out of the way. Running out of energy. This will certainly open the gate. Two strikes from a moonlight. Gate does not move. Well, screw that. Target of operation gate cleared. System switch to normal there. mode. Mission over. We're fine. Yeah, I still have a good number of credits amassed. Not great, but I don't have to worry. Oh. 
think there'd actually be mail with some of this stuff. The Earth Environment Reclamation Committee has recently made a name for itself in the public eye. Professing the goal of reclaiming the above-ground environment, the committee is some of the most prominent scientists in the world as its members. However, there are many questions in regards to its true nature. There are rumors that it is actually an organization with some other purpose. I'll be in touch. Well, you say that, but... <laughs> I'm pretty sure we've already gotten this message about the Earth Environment Reclamation Facility. Merkul's behind it. So, you know, that sort of let's question what they're all about is... Uh, yeah, I don't think there's any point in that. Yeah, rescue server team, that's checked off. Ooh. Worker robot removal. Okay. I can do this, but we're going to change things. First of all, get rid of the Kurosawa. No energy weapons for this one. None whatsoever. Energy weapons is a bad idea, because energy weapons do piercing damage. We do not want piercing damage for this level. Not a chance in hell. Worker robot removal from Murakumo Millennium. Actually, you know what, before I even do that, I'm actually going to save the game. A problem occurred in the number 7 power plant of Isaac City. Due to security system trouble, the worker robots are out of control. Most of the robots have already been captured or destroyed, but some of them have entered the grounds of the power plant. Luckily, no major accident has occurred so far, but we cannot leave the situation as is. Because of the location, ordinary measures are useless. This is where we need your help. We want you to destroy all of the robots within the power plant. We do not... Do not damage... Okay. Sorry. But do not damage the generators or you risk causing a major explosion. Keep that in mind, people. That's why this mission is kind of dangerous. If you destroy a generator, we will deduct compensation for the damages from your pay. The worker robots have no attack capability at all, but you must move cautiously. Again. Keep the deducted compensation for the damages from your pay in mind, people. Theater of Operations, Isaac City Power Plant number 712, worker robots to destroy. Main system, engaging combat mode. Now, for those now, Armored Core veterans out Hitting there, the you can probably under, you are more than you are probably more than well. Where of the problems that this level presents, and there it goes, folks. That. You can kiss your paycheck goodbye with that alone. <laughs> In fact, you know what? Yeah, we're gonna try this one again, only not bad. Blowing up generator even one is super massive no bueno. Now, thankfully, if you have some vague inclination of what you're doing and good maneuverability, this shouldn't be a problem. Again, these worker robots, they can't do... They, they have no damage capability. The only thing that's going to damage you here is if you happen to hit one of the generators, which, as you saw, will cause a chain reaction which will destroy all the generators in a single room, which will, in turn eradicate your paycheck. I repeat, it will eradicate your paycheck in an instant. You won't be having a paycheck. You will have debt. This level is infamous amongst the AC community for this reason, because you can pack up a gigantic debt very fast just by playing this mission.
Now, admittedly, I have a lot of credits, so I have a great big buffer for how much I can lose before everything goes into the n super negative zone. I will freely admit that, but here's the thing. There's a reason I, I did not want to, you know, I, I still don't want to make that kind of loss at all because it is just that big. It is possible, Target of though not likely with killed. my setup, System switched to normal mode. To amass damages of up to sixty thousand credits. It is not very likely unless you are trying. You'd have to waste a lot of ammunition and all sorts of other things. But because of the deductions you get from just the damages alone, if you add a whole bunch of that, if you add, you know, expenses to repairs and ammunition on top of that, you are going to be paying, you are going to be losing so much in that level. So much. Like, that first room... If all those generators are gone, you, you, you're already in debt right there. Because <laughs> you just do not get paid enough for that mission in order to compensate. And there's a reason that you should... Well, I say should. There is a reason that it is noted for how much debt you'll pile up in that mission. But I'll get to that at a later date. Right now, let's move on to the next mission... Secret Factory Recon. Now, this is the opposite mission from the one that we ended up taking in the... in the earlier playthrough, where Murakumo asked us to recon this place out, but I chose to side with Chrome in order to guard this area. This is basically just the mission that I didn't take in that one instance. We already know what it's about, and all we have to do is find and get to the uh, entrance of this place and break open the thing so that they can begin their attack. So this should be a fairly simple mission. How as in the ever, though, I do need a moment to look up something because I think there's a hidden part we have reached the target. in this level. The main core will arrive in six minutes. Find the entrance before then. I know where, it, 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 I know where the uh, entrance is, and it should be a non-problem to actually find that, but... Okay, so... off you. Ow. I'm trying to... I forgot to switch out for my Karasuke. And you... Are you trying to flame me? Stop. Stop. be something here. Ah, there it is. Very edge of the map. AC weapon obtained. Okay. Now the next step is to go and find that entrance. I already know where that is, so I'm just gonna go over there and have no these guys I can just move over. Here. Core system destroyed. Transmitting coordinates of entrance. I'm just gonna stay up we here out of the way. Break in from there. Target of operation cleared. 
System switched Whee! to normal mode. <laughs> yeah, I like how much I how much flat I can get out of this more lightweight build. And there we go. I forgot what kind of part it actually was that I got. I'll have to have a look in the garage. Uh, but first we have new mail. Factory Assault Report. First let us report the results of the battle. A Murakumo detachment... Detachment... <clears throat> ...was wildly successful in infiltrating the factory with excellent results. The success was all thanks to you. It was a beautiful job. I wish that Chrome would change their tactics even a little. They are too forceful, don't you agree? The right leaders are necessary in order for all of humanity to be able to return above ground. Chrome is not suited for this. And you are with your big justice cannon in space. Aren't you the one who... Like, 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 like I said, isn't the justice cannon the thing that started this whole great destruction in the first place? That kind of puts it on you being in possession of the weapon raises the question of whether or not you are truly responsible for all of this in the first place. Granted, again, Chrome is no better, but let's be honest, either side is in the right. They're just corporations. They care about profits, money, having people's votes and whatnot. Anyway, what did I obtain? Oh, it's a back missile system. Four missiles. Eh. I guess I can attach it. Repulse enemy attack from Murakumo. Recently our transport blimps have been attacked by one after the other. We don't know what they want, but the blimp is always shot down, so the target is probably not the payload. Perhaps they are simply intending to interrupt our operations at someone's instigation. We would provide full-scale escorts, but this risks marrying our reputation. <clears throat> Marring, I'm sorry. These incidents have not gotten out to the public, so we want you to ride secretly in the blimp and repulse the attacking group. Note that we expect the battle to be fought in the blimp, so be careful not to fall. Theater of operations, transport blimp, enemy forces unknown, destroy all forces. I'll give this a go. Main system, engaging combat mode. This is the captain speaking. Unidentified craft are approaching. I think it's them. Go get them. I see. Oops. We got a problem. I wasn't paying attention to my energy. Uh, let me fix that. Okay, now we're back. And this, this time I'm going to try and stay on top of them. Alright, uh, where are they? I saw them. The thing is, they're up high and out of sight. I don't know where the blimp is. Oh, no. Hold up. Bad, bad, bad. Okay. I can still get... Okay, there's a problem with the way I've done things. I have a wide and shallow... Okay, stop that. 
Raven, the aft bridge has been damaged. You must destroy them all without delay. I'm trying. They are flying. I can't. I can't fly. It's not at the moment. Another wave, another wave. Come on. Let's have it. Uh, wait, 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 Leaving wait, combat wait. Uh. Combat operations halted. Ding, dang it, I hate this. Ah, jeez. Okay, with gusto this time, actually try and aim for these things and use a better weapon for doing so. Uh, assuming that they don't knock me right out of the sky. One hit from the Karasawa will do the job, assuming that I can hit them. That's the main thing. Hey, whoop, I saw you. No, you don't. Yeah, stop it. Are you? Come on. Bitch, stop. Quit it. Quit it. Where'd you get? Over here. Promise I will murder you. Operation cleared. System switched to normal mode. Good grief! I hate this mission. I don't know how else to put it. All the flying, all the shooting airplanes down. Just it's uh it's not for me, and probably why I skipped it the first time around. Anyway. I think that will have to do it for this bonus episode for today, though. Because I'm... Honestly, that, that, that sort of aggravated me, and we've wasted a shit ton of time. I don't know how much time that's going to be after editing, but it's been a lot more time for me regardless. So, that all said and done. Thank you absolutely everyone for watching. As always, there will be links in the description below to my various social media outlets, as well as to my coffee page if you care to follow up on that. Bossy mentality saying peace out.